Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the 70th anniversary edition 595 a Bath uh, Competizione. This is the uh, 185 horsepower version of this car on a 68 plate, as you can see. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of it, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. So from the outside there, you can see the alloy wheels. We have Brembo brakes, a uh, three-door convertible car, of course, as you can see. Uh, we supplied this vehicle to the second owner, who has recently just part exchanged it for another car with us. Uh, we're going to start off inside the boot area of the car, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have the quad tailpipes at the back there, reversing sensors as well. Uh, given the fact that it's a convertible, plenty of boot space given the size of this car as well. Uh, but we do have that 50-50 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space further should you wish to do so. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see that the bodywork and the alloy wheels are all in fantastic condition and it's a great looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. We have these uh, branded racing seats that you can see just here. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard as well, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the far left-hand side, we have the rev counter, then the coolant temperature gauge, the digital readout for the speedometer in the center, along with the total miles for this car. They are 30,744. And over on the right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. On to the steering wheel next. Uh, you can see the above branding in the middle there. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, which continue over on the right-hand side. Into the center, we have the main uh, screen for the car. So you have a few physical buttons uh, down the bottom, as you can see, uh, just here. Uh, and then you can use the touch screen to access, for example, your AM, FM, and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Nothing is connected at the moment. Uh, you can plug in a USB device. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And you can see Bluetooth audio just there as one of the options. You can, of course, pair your phone up to the car and there are certain um, Fiat friendly apps that can be projected up onto this screen here as well. Just above the main screen we have this boost gauge for the turbo in this car as well. Working our way down from the screen we can put the car into sport mode, we have our hazard warning lights, front and rear fog lights and then the climate control for the car. So you can adjust the temperature inside the car, you can increase and decrease the fan speed uh, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and when you're happy with those settings the air conditioning is off at the moment that button turns it on and you can see it's on uh, through that light just there same button to turn it off or hit auto the car will now take full control of the fan speed which you can see and hear it doing and also the direction of the air in order that it maintains the temperature that you've asked for any uh, manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to then change it to put it onto your own settings again we have passenger side and driver side electric windows, uh, the manual gear lever of course, so five speed manual gearbox as you can see, USB input, two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket as well. The last thing I wanted to show you is the opening of the roof. So we have two buttons up here, one of which of course will open the roof, the other will close it. Uh, just keep your finger on that button. The first thing that will happen is that the roof will stop as it just has there, just short of covering that rear windscreen. So take your finger off the button, press it again, and it will fold all the way down over the top as you can see. The last thing I wanted to show you is some of the paperwork that we hold for the car. So you can see there, uh, two keys for the vehicle firstly, the V5 registration document that will show uh, that this is a two owner car from new. And then below that, uh, we have the service book for the vehicle. Uh, so all of the services here from 2019, 20, uh, 21, 22, and 23 as well. So uh, full service history on this car. Uh, if this or any other vehicle that we sell requires an MOT within the six month period at the point at which we sell it, we will also do that for you as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video walk around of the vehicle, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.